The tarot with the order of operation for manifestation as I see it. We have swords first, that's beliefs, ideas, thoughts. We have cups next, that's emotionality, that's our moods, that's our, our vortex, the vibrational reality we are holding and it is generated by our emotions. It is pumped by our emotions, it is shaped by our emotions. Next comes the wands, that's action. We act in honor of how we feel. We feel in honor of what we believe, okay? And then the pentacles are the last. They are, if I continue to do this, this is what I manifest. So when we start to unpack the things that we can see that are not working for us, when we can start to identify what were the emotional triggers that lead me to that action, and then we can start to reverse engineer and be like, what do I have to think? Or what do I have to believe? What do I tell myself regularly? Or what are the, the records that are replayed in my head? What are the voices that come through? What does the critic say that makes me feel that way? And what do I have to believe for those thoughts to arise? When we can start to see how everything is interconnected like this, and we can start to actually take these concepts that other people expose us to and we have our own meticulous record to compare things to now we actually have all the tools that we need to start engineering results that we actually desire and that's the whole aim of chaos magic is to get beyond the things that limit our beliefs from thinking that we can change things to be aware of the things that are getting in our way that are limiting us the the behaviors that don't serve us that are propping up dogs Dogma, the things that are saying someone else's personal experience is more important than how I feel or how I experience life or what I could go through. When we start to dismantle all of that shit through looking at ourselves, we actually have all that we need to initiate the process of change.